it's Faye and today we're gonna play Sunhaven because I haven't played with you all in a while. There have been a lot of updates since then, including the Naga race, Mac support, mining, and of course, the marriage update. So today we're going to marry the wonderful Prince Darius. He is the monster prince of Withergates. And if for some reason you don't know what Sunhaven is, it is a magical farming RPG game. I have a bunch of videos out about it, including whether or not you should pay to be in early access. And without further ado, let's get started. Of course, I decided to dive into our second save file, which is the one we use for most of the Darius state video. So I guess this is a continuation of our beautiful monster Withergate love. The first thing we have to do, of course, is to buy a marriage band. Why did I say it like that? A wedding ring, a proposal ring. What is the difference? The wedding band is like you keep forever, right? And then the proposal one is just for typically the, the girl. We need a societal marriage update on proposals. Seems a little antiquated. Anyway, it seems like Bernard is selling wedding rings as well as keepsakes from any romanceable NPCs. You're supposed to get a keepsake from an NPC that you are getting to know or dating around eight hearts, but if you miss it because of a bug or you misplace the item, which I've done, you can buy it from him. We grabbed the wedding ring and we ran over to Withergate to give Darius the love of our life commitment. God, that sounded odd. I had completely exhausted Darius's dialogue up through the last patch, so it was nice for him to talk to me again. It's finally time to give him the ring, except... You must be dating this character, unmarried, achieve 15 full hearts, and progressed enough in the dialogue to marry this character. Thank you for the, uh, fourth wall touch. <laughs> Why am I saying touch? Thank you for breaking the fourth wall to tell me how to marry you, Darius. So I went to check the heart meter because I was confused and sad. And ta-da, we have 10 hearts with Darius instead of 50 million on the screen from last time. We are locked at 10 also until we date him. Once you are starting to date someone, you can get up to 15 hearts. And typically you can accept their love or affections or intent to date you on the second date. But because this patch wasn't out when I went on the second date with Darius, I guess he thinks we're not dating. Thankfully there is a workaround and that is the love letter from Bernard. So if you turn someone down on the second date or something goes wrong, you could give them a love letter to show your intention. So we grab a love letter from Bernard, and then we're going to the weapon merchant who apparently doesn't have a name, I feel bad, and I'm buying 50 million copper swords because Darius loves swords, and that's gonna be an easy way to get those hearts up because I I'm, I'm here to get married. I don't have 10 hours, okay? Anyway, back to Darius, and we're gonna give him this beautiful love letter to show our intentions. This is sweet of you, Faye, and unexpected. To be honest with you, I've been wondering what would have happened if we dated, so let's do it. Sweet. That's a little funny because I feel like he was definitely in love with us before, but that's okay. And look, five hearts are unlocked to fill. Anyway, it's time to sleep. And look at this beautiful sleeping animation of Elios, the dragon from Sunhaven. Last time I played, there was no animation here. It just said you slept well and ah, oh, my little heart. Time to wake up and head to the castle and bother the love of our life. He's not in his room, but his room is heckin' cute and beautiful. So we head to the throne room and sure enough, there he is with his dad, King Minos. I talked to King Minos and I've actually seen this dialogue before. Not that I mind reading it again, it's pretty dang cool, but I love to notice the little things that happen between updates. We give Darius a sword, there is no new dialogue today, and this is where the grind begins. We'll be standing in game while I'm out tabbed until 6 p.m. so we could sleep in the game, wake up, and repeat this process until he loves us forever. It's kind of just a funny part of recording some games where you just have to wait <laughs> until the game can progress, but at least the music is so good. On day one of waking up just to make Darius fall in love with us before we sleep again, he tells us that his sword is actually his deceased grandpa. Apparently when demons grow old and die, they turn into stone and they forge his grandpa into a sword for him so that he could protect the town forever. This story is very hardcore, but I do think I read it previously before this update. So I guess we were treated to some dialogue that we shouldn't have seen until later into a character's romance arc. Something new that I'm noticing though is that his sprite laughs. There, look at this, there's two different art forms of Darius now instead of 
of just his serious face, so that's pretty cool. It is day two of waking up just to suck up to Darius, and he says, What? Are you scared the commoners will look at us? Let them. Love a man who wants to show me off. There is no unique dialogue today, though, so it looks like it might be a every other day sort of thing. I have been talking to King Minos as well because I've been tracking them down at 7 a.m. in the throne room, and he tells us about the story of Darius's deceased mom. It's actually kind of the story of how Withergate City and the castle was erected to begin with, and really lends to the world building of the monsters in this town. They are scary to people back in Sunhaven, but this is really just a place for them to live for once and be safe. Game lore makes me happy. The last thing I did on this day was check out the Event Center. It is a new part of Sunhaven, north of the town and south of the train station. It is huge and empty and very much looks like it's only going to be used for a wedding event, but it would be really cool if we had like town events every month or something too. Maybe in the future. To be completely honest, I did this because I figured we were gonna get married here and I'd have to walk here eventually for the wedding ceremony. And I have missed so many Sunhaven dates for not showing up on time. So we scoped it out ahead of time. <laughs> Something that every wedding needs is some wedding attire. Spider warning, I'm going to Arianella, how do you say that, in Withergate, which is the spider seamstress to see if I can find any wedding-ish stuff. I finally decided on a vampire shirt and a vampire skirt in the color white, and yes, I did grind through many more days than necessary, waiting for the items to drop because they spawn in the shop randomly. Another day passes and Darius says that I look perplexed. If someone has wronged me, he will have the guards on them in moments. But I tell him that I'm worried about our future, and it turns out he's really looking forward to leading Withergate with me by his side. This is a completely new dialogue. Read it, it's so heckin' cute. When he says he wants me by his side on the throne, I tell him there's only one way for that to happen, and he says, I'm finally catching on. This man literally says, go get me a ring, it is time, and wow, I, yeah. This is the clip you have all been waiting for. Look at my beautiful shoulder pads. First of all, I'm wearing my vampire shirt and skirt, and it is time to finally propose to the wonderful Prince Darius. Part of the reason why I wore this outfit is because I've never gotten married in Sunhaven before, and on the off chance that I get whisked away, I wanna look good. Darius says that some lackeys will set up the ceremony tomorrow in your human town at 4 p.m. And we get our first official quest in quite a while because we completed the storyline a while back to marry Darius. It's almost time for the wedding and I am heckin' excited! And here we go. Bernard is marrying us right here in the event center, which is so perfect. Bernard, thank you for giving us a love letter and the ring and letting me do everything, even though all of the stuff wasn't in place when I first started dating Darius and he forgot about it. So we love you, Bernard. I actually really like this wedding ceremony. It doesn't seem heavy one way or another. I feel like it could have gone one way where it's like, Oh, Faye, you are a great part of Sunhaven and this demon is okay. Or it could have gone like, oh, Faye, follow your husband until the end. But I think it's really sweet. And go ahead and read it. Look at me cheesing at the end, the largest smile ever. And then I get to walk around my own wedding with my wedding ring and talk to everyone who came. Believe it or not, even our friends from the elf village, as well as Zyla, also from the demon town, and Donovan are all here at the wedding. Here are all the beautiful moments of me talking to all of our guests. Off the record, June sitting next to Van, sitting next to Warnhart in the front row at my wedding feels like a personal attack because all three of them are uh, high on my list of beautiful, beautiful bachelors that I need to marry.
When I talked to Darius at the altar, he said that this is the happiest day of his life and I could either tell him I want to talk to the guests more or I can't wait to start our life together, which I feel like would have ended the wedding. So I chose the latter and then I tried to escape the event center after I talked to everyone and it did indeed end the wedding. So that concludes that. Of course, I run back to Withergate to locate my now husband and see what he has to say. Call it hopeful, call it creepy, but this is the moment in which I freaked out. I entered Darius's bedroom and it asked me if I would like to sleep as if I had just walked into a bed. And sure enough, you can sleep in your spouse's room slash bed, except you sleep right in the center and it seems like he has nowhere to go. It took a moment for the realization to set in. I would be able to wake up in Darius's bedroom and then talk to him, which means I could just grind through the next few days for more dialogue so much more easily. The first new dialogue here involved a moon dragon, Dinus. Similar to Elios over in Sunhaven, Dinus apparently gives blessings to monsters in Withergate, and Darius tells us that he was given a blessing from the moon dragon. Dinus also once foretold that Darius would create a strong alliance to bring Withergate into the future, and he tells us that he thinks that's with us, whether that's with Sunhaven and Withergate becoming friendos slash alliances, or Withergate somehow taking over, he's not sure. But this lore hidden so far along into a romanceable candidate's marriage? I'm digging it. Our next today's dialogue is pretty simple. He tells us that Zyla is actually designing a crown for us, and it's gonna be even more magnificent once it's on our head. Our last dialogue is the last unique long dialogue from this update, and he tells us about a fight between Cordelia and Zyla and the king or something. But mostly he tells us that we really calm him down by existing. He tells us not to tell anyone that he's a love at first sight kind of guy because it will ruin his reputation. And my heart melts as it does for characters with sweetness hidden under the layers of I am the best, even though he is. Withergate's future is steeped in glory and we shall sit at the top, Darius says on our last day today in Withergate. And with that, we have seen all of the marriage dialogues thus far. I'm not quite sure how we convinced Darius to marry us. We are simply a farmer that doesn't farm. I mean, look at this overgrown, horrible area. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed our beautiful wedding in Sunhaven. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more gaming content from me. I love comfort games, but I also want to play a lot more RPGs and exploration stuff. I want to play Eastward soon, so I'd love to see you here. Bye.